Thanks, guys. Now, do you ever have that moment where you look across the room and you lock eyes with somebody and it's an immediate connection? Well, that's not exactly how we met, but it was something like that. <laughs> this is Chef Bree. She has the company. Uh, it's Culinary Experiences. LLC. LLC. Yeah. And uh, we met while I was out doing another project, and she's like, oh, I'm a private chef. And I'm like, oh, well, I like food. So thanks for hanging out with us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. So we brought you on. I mean, we could talk about cooking, which is very paramount so just briefly tell people about culinary experiences all right so I am a personal chef and I offer a uh, personal chef service around Jacksonville Nassau County and st. John's County basically um, my niche or my specialty is fine dining at home um, so I like to plate things elegantly um, get as many locally sourced ingredients as possible to give my clients a taste of place um, I believe that, you know, seasonal ingredients are the best ingredients because, you know, they're at their peak, right? So um, you want to taste things when they're at their peak, when they're at their best, when they're the most flavorful. So um, I like to highlight those local seasonal ingredients when I can. Um, so yeah, I, I specialize in private dinner parties and private dinner um, experiences. Um, it could be anything from an interactive cooking um, dinner party, uh, cooking class, or it could just be a private dinner to celebrate anything from an anniversary to a birthday to a wedding. Um, and it's an amazing uh, job. So basically, you can call her and say, hey, I want a meal for myself, my uh, significant other. We can have like a little dinner party. You're going to come in. You shop, clean, prep, uh, cook, serve and then clean up on the back end. So you take the whole Completely. experience out of their hand. Yep. Now, we were talking about, and you also offer some interactive experiences, what you mentioned. Well, let me tell you, your man can cook in the, fr in the kitchen. His plating is a little suspect. So you are going to show me how I can plate my food, because I know everybody see eats with their eyes. But I like to surprise people. It might look a little gray, but it tastes good. So, you know. You're right. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, all right, so we're doing a filet today. Yep. And what are we doing? How do we make that plating absolutely awesome. All right, well, um, there are so many ways that you can plate things, like a fine dining restaurant at home, um, and I want to show you one of those ways that I like to do it. So, um, I made the mashed potatoes. They are a Yukon Gold garlic and chive mashed potato. Um, they are delicious in my opinion, but okay. I'll let you be the judge. Okay. Um, and basically what I did was I put the mashed potatoes in a piping bag. We just got like a little bit here just for the plating, and um, this is how you hold it. So you want to kind of like twist it, Oh. And, yeah, there you go. Two hands. Twist it with one. Okay. There you go. Yeah. And do a rose a the best that you can. Just squeeze it on that plate as best you can. Yeah, there you go. And kind of like that. Down. There. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Down and up. Okay. So if you saw me out at the Clay County Fair the other day, I have been known there to rip udders. So we're working on some things. All right, you just have all to right. Go find that video. Marshall knows. Marshall knows. All right. So not also, your first try. it's not butamous. <laughs> it's not butamous. So <laughs> we're still working you. on roses. I totally forgive you. I forgive you. That was not bad for your first go. But um, so not you sure it looks like a rose, but <laughs> I forgive you. All right, it's a rose in my garden. We'll go with that. So all right, we're working on. We still got some work on plating so that's one of the things you can kind of help people with yep. I need a lot of help obviously yep. Yep. now when it comes to the steak how yep. do we make that so um, I had sous vide the filet mignon um, basically that is a hot water bath it um, cooks the steak to the perfect internal temp however you want it so I cooked it to medium rare um, in a, a hot water bath with some unsalted butter and some herbs like rosemary thyme and a little bit of sea salt okay um, and I took it out of the sous vide and then I pan seared it on a cast iron pan with some unsalted butter. All right, so and let's so get to it. We have it already cooked and basically we are just going to show it some love, right? Ooh, I like how you cut there. it, that marbling. The marbling, right? I watch a lot of cooking shows, can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> So when it comes, so we're cutting them, and then while you're doing that, just really quick, our time's running short. Sure. Why a lot of people are like, why would I pay for an experience like this? What is the benefit for me? And so, what's the benefit of having somebody like Culinary Experiences LLC come check it or plate for me and cook for me? Well, the private chef experience. The, the benefit to having a private chef at your home is that we can fully tailor fit and customize the menu to any dietary needs and restrictions. Okay. So if you or any of your guests, you know, are gluten intolerant or celiac or, you know, um, have any allergies, um, 
I can cater to that, and I can basically customize the menu to those needs. All right, so, so let's finish our dressing. Yeah. So. so there we go. We've got the filet already okay. plated on top of the mashed potatoes. I put them a little more in the center just to kind of give them that hot, that uh, spotlight. Yeah. And what we have is a salsa verde that I made um, from scratch. It is garlic. Um, this red sorrel, uh, red ribbon sorrel that is very lemony and zingy um, in flavor. And it's got my um, homegrown basil, some homegrown um, <laughs> Italian parsley, all olive right. oil, and lemon zest. So we so spread we're just that. Put some of that over the top, like Thank that. You. We are about to check it with Mark, but I, let's get us where our. And oh. then let's just do a little flour on there just to give it some Zexy. Color. And we could even do one green or even two. See, Microgreens. that looks so, exactly how I meant uh, it to look. All right, oops, oh, sorry. All right, go. so this is the finished product. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bite now. We're gonna check in with Mark right about now, but first, let me tell you. Melt in your mouth butter. All right, chef, well played. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Mark. Now the uh, chef 